So, a lot of people take a look, maybe skeptically, I don't know, at a short, quick course and think, <clears throat> well, why should I pay money for this? <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few examples recently of people who are doing pretty well, like, you know, making high five and six figure months <clears throat> who say, no matter what it is, you can give it all away for free because people aren't going to actually do it unless you push them. Now, there's an interesting blend for me because I spent so many years in the performing world with various producers, presenters, agents, um, who tried really hard to royally ream you on a regular basis. Um, you have to learn, you have to take your lumps, <laughs> whatever that might mean, <laughs> in context. You have, to, you have to learn and eventually select good ones. So we were working with some very good agents. They were reputable, honorable, fantastic, high-performing. And we, my company, had some very good success. Because of that, I was actually uh, taught through life lessons and experience <clears throat> that you don't just plain give everything for free. Uh, you give certain things for free. The simple stuff, when it's below you, when it's below, when it's below the level that you want to operate, all of that stuff is easy. And in fact, right here... Even this video can be parsed for the lessons in how to deliver well. But, many people say if you actually have something that you know works to deliver for people in ways that they need, then, you know, don't do that for free. Now, I was asked time and time again by startup organizations. And I still use this in my own company. Right here, this online program that I offer. I use this principle. I would be asked by people to say, well, you know, can, can you do the first one for us for free and we'll, uh, we'll pay you next time? And I did that a few times and those never worked they just didn't get off the ground. So I ended up learning how to say very simply, look, pay me. Pay me our asking price the first time and I'll sign a contract that gives you the second one for free. Is that okay with you? Because if you want to ask me for the first one for free and promise that you'll do the second one, then what's the difference? There's only one difference. Respect that I am delivering everything I've created with my time and energy the first time, and I will bend over backwards to see that you get everything your honorable exchange and investment and belief in me can uh, be brought to bear in the future. That's why now me, I, Paul, offer people... <clears throat> who have done their very best to invest in me, everything on the back end I can possibly give them. I don't stop the clock on things, on a time schedule or whatever it is. I upgrade everybody at various times when they have simply made me know that they are working hard and interested. I give people on the back end the secondary opportunities at discounts, all sorts of different things, and it's just stacked so heavily in their favor on the back end after they have let me know that they're not trying to 
lowball the initial entry. Now, going back to those high-performing online monthly, you know, coaches who say you can give everything away for free and people will still not actually do all of that stuff on their own. What you need is to, you know, give them the opportunity and then ultimately they will hire you to work together. So there's a combination of both of those, right? But when I say to you, that I have worked my little tootsies off over decades to, number one, define my method for myself so that I could see it and then use it time and again in order to, two, then teach it to people over those decades and perfect a process and then Three, take it online and translate all of that stuff into an online experience that actually does what's necessary. The learning curve there is worth substantial, you know, coin. And, um, and I'm fine with that. I'm comfortable with where I am with this stuff. But I want you to know this, not just because this is me telling you and explaining my offer. That's not it. If you think this is about my offer, you're wrong. Is it also about my offer? Sure. I'm just using me and my offers as an example. This is about you and what you ought to be doing in order for you to picture, to envision, and then to construct what you're up to in such a way that you can comfortably, ethically, morally, honestly be able to have those conversations with people in ways that are not cloying and desperate grabs at money by getting people to hop on a call so that you can then try to sell them. That feels manipulative and it always leaves a bad taste in my mouth when someone tries to do it for me, which is why I practically never even respond to people who say, you want to hop on a call? No. Answer is no. But I'm not going to even tell that. Telling them no and explaining things wastes valuable seconds of my life, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm here to let you know. This is where this stuff works. Now, when you want what this is, because in fact, even this video here is an example of how you should do things well. If this is not compelling, why are you still watching? It's eight minutes long. But when this works for you, I'm telling you that there is a process that allows you to be able to enjoy pressing play. I didn't plan this. I don't have to, but I will teach you how to come up with an idea, structure it quickly, and then be able to deliver with fun, comedy, impact, core truths, insights that separate you from all of that other copy-paste, scripted, templated crapola. This is a giant difference, and it can be brought to bear upon everything that you're able to deliver, whether it be on camera, looking into that little lens right there, or live. This shit is real. And this stuff is substantial. And the changes in your ability to do this are indeed profound. Let me know when you're ready because this is where you ought to be delivering. And this is how. Speak later. Yar. <laughs>